Hi Gemini, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to do uh, your reading. This is going to be the person on your mind. So this is somebody that you know, somebody that you think about. We're going to see what the energy is here and how things play out. Uh, I will also look at new love afterwards for some of you if you're single or if you're open to new love. We're going to look at that as well. Uh, this reading may not resonate with everybody out there. Uh, but if it does, there is an extended reading link below in the description box. I do an almost personal reading about your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, their intentions, some love notes and guidance uh, beyond what comes out here in your reading. Okay. The last thing that I'm going to bring up, Gemini, is I am giving away one free personal reading each month to enter the giveaway. You just need to subscribe, like the video and leave a comment. I will uh, pick a winner the first week of every month and we'll announce that as well. So with that, let's get started, Gemini. Uh, first card you have here is passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And you also have, this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Okay. I'm going to say here, um, there's a lot of passion between you and this person. That's obvious here with the passion card. There's a lot of chemistry here. I do feel, um, right, you see this person as the one. But it feels like there's some sort of disconnect here between the two of you. Now, it could just be distance, whether that's, physical distance, maybe this person's being distant with you, um, or it can be an indication that there's separation or there may have been an ending between the two of you, okay? It also can be wanting to spend time with each other as well. So let's pull uh, your tarot cards, and I actually pulled the wrong deck. And actually, you know what? Maybe Spirit wanted me to use that deck, so we're going to use that deck. Okay, <laughs> and we'll use the other one for the extended, all right? Uh, we're going to clarify some of the cards as well. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Gemini about the person on their mind and the energy, where this is all going? What can you show Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? Okay, all right. So we have the King of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles, we have, oh, look at that, Wheel of Fortune, right? Center of your reading here, too. Okay, let me just pull the rest of the cards and then we'll go through them. Quite a few uh, major Arcana cards here. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna call it the signs first. We have strong Cancerian energy. We have strong Leo energy. We have uh, fire, Aries, Sagittarius as well. We also have here Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, your energy, Gemini. And Cancer, oh, we said Cancer already, and Pisces and Scorpio, okay. In your recent past, Gemini, we have the King of Swords, we have the King of Pentacles, and we have the Strength card, okay? It's interesting, Gemini, I really just pick up a stubborn energy from your person. I don't know why, but I pick up a, um, a stubborn person um, from your person here, and I feel like this is somebody here who... Um, it's almost like they're just set in their ways, okay? But I also get here they're not, it, it feels like they're not telling you everything or maybe there is some clarity that you're needing, okay? I'm also picking up too, you could be dealing with somebody here who's very focused on their money and their career, right? So their thoughts could be on money, career. Um, I'm going to say there could be some ego here, all right? I'm going to clarify this King of Pentacles. We're going to see what that King of Pentacles is all about. Now, it can also be this person holding back, right? This person here um, not really... 
how should I say, not really leading with their heart, but more leading with ego, um, right? More leading with the material in their life, okay? Money or assets could be very important to them. It could also affect, right, their relationships. I'm really curious what that King of Pentacles is about, so we'll clarify that one. Now, in your current energy, okay, so the heart of your reading here, you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is really nice energy, okay? It's telling me here there's some sort of new cycle, especially with the Fool card here um, at the bottom of the deck. There's some sort of new journey, some sort of new cycle here, I feel, that's about to happen with your person. It's a change. I feel like it's a change for the better, Okay, um, because you have here the Ace of Cups and you have the Ace of Wands, all right? So there may be something here that is going by the wayside here, okay? It's a double energy here. So it can mean, mean a lot of different things. But I see something nice happening here with the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups. I'm going to start off by clearing, clarifying the Wheel of Fortune and then we'll see if we need to clarify the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. There's something here that's about to happen and shift. I feel like it's in your favor. The Ace of Cups for me is also a yes card or a wish card here. So there may be something here about to happen you've been hoping for. Okay, so we'll see what that is when we clarify. You have here the Five of Pentacles. You have the Chariot. And you have the Knight of Cups. Okay. I'm definitely going to clarify this Five of Pentacles. There's something about moving forward, okay? And, you know, I talked about something being released. Moving forward here with this person, it feels like there is there is definitely some sort of offer or expression of love here or something they want to say. Um, could be lack of an apology. Maybe apology is needed. Um, but there's something here I feel that needs to go. All right, um, and there's something, you know, like I said, there's something here lacking in the situation. For things to move forward, right, for this to move forward, I feel there's something here that is lacking or needs to go, and we're going to clarify, and we're going to see what that is, all right? But it definitely feels here in the heart of the reading, because I feel I read the cards different ways. There's some sort of movement here, I feel, forward, we may even clarify that chariot depending on what comes out on the Five of Pentacles. So Gemini, let's um, clarify the cards here. I feel like this is somebody who's a bit closed off. They may not, um, I'm just going to say here. They might not understand you on more of like a mental or intellectual level I'm picking up as well, but let's see here. What do we want to clarify? We want to clarify that King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here, please? There may be forgiveness that's needed here in this situation. That can just represent your energy, but why is the King of Pentacles here, please? Okay, so we have the Queen of Coin, King and Queen of Pentacles there. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Hermit. And we have the Magician here. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay. So you've got somebody here, I feel, that... Like I said, their energy comes across to me as somebody who is not wanting to change, maybe very set in their ways here. You got the Two of Pentacles. So this could be somebody, right? There, this may be an on and off connection that you have with somebody here. Or this is someone, um, you know, I call that sometimes the wishy-washy energy. But this, this is someone I feel here who hasn't really given you a whole lot of stability. Security is what I get. Let's see what we get. Queen of, Co Queen of Coin, Queen of Cups, the Hermit, and the Magician. I, 
I'm going to say for some of you, okay, if you know that there's a third party situation or there's an ex or somebody else around this person, this is someone who hasn't made any decisions in the past around you and this person. This is someone who uh, may be going back and forth between you and somebody else, okay? That's only if you know that, okay? Because this is showing up in your past energy. This is someone here who uh, may be withdrawing and not really making things happen because there could be another person involved and it's not about male or female, it's about the energy, okay? But if that is not your story here, I feel like this is somebody here who, um, like I said, I feel like their career or money here is very important to them. And I feel like this is somebody who thinks about, right, how to make things happen, how to make things more secure in the connection, the relationship, but maybe not showing a whole lot, right, about what they're thinking here, okay? I want to clarify uh, this King of Swords as well. Why is the King of Swords here, please? Why is the King of Swords here, please? Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords. We have the Two of Wands. Gosh, the Eight of Swords. The Two of Cups, okay. Yeah, there's something here around um, and the High Priestess. They're being very secretive, I feel here, um, about maybe what they're feeling. Some of you could be a third party situation. Um, you have the Ten of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Two of Cups, okay? So for some of you, it can just be, you know, like this person has not made any decisions here. This is in the recent past about the relationship, about the connection here, and possibly a third party situation. This is somebody I feel here. They have feelings for you. It's showing me that here with the two of cups. There's mutual feelings there. But this is somebody I feel who in the past hasn't been really open and honest in communicating with you about where things are and I get that too because I feel like this is somebody who's very up in their head thinking about uh, you okay there may be something here too I feel like uh, there could be a secret or something here that they're needing to confess all right and interesting enough you have the chariot which you have here so I feel like there's something here that in order for things to move forward, this person has some sort of truth or something that they need to be open and honest with you about, okay? And it's gonna be different for all of you. Like I said, there could be a third party situation. There could be, um, you know, I'm also picking up here that it just can be around your person has had some mixed emotions, right? About where things are going or where things are headed here. Um, in this connection or relationship, but they haven't really been open and honest, I feel, here in the past. So something's changing here. Like I said, something I feel here is changing, shifting, going by the wayside here with that Wheel of Fortune. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here, please? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here, please? I don't know why I'm getting this, but uh, Spirit Test still... Sometimes I have, you know, it's a puzzle for me sometimes, but uh, Spirit is saying that your person here likes um, likes to read a lot. They may be a bookworm, and that might not be for everybody. Okay, let's see here. All right, so we have the chariot. Chariot showed up again. Cancerian energy, seven of cups, temperance, Sagittarius energy, and we have the Seven of Swords. Bottom of the deck here. Yeah, something's going by the wayside here. Eight of Cups. I feel like there's something here that they're leaving behind. I want to see what's there. Oh, look at that. The Lovers. Your energy here, Gemini. I don't feel like they're leaving you behind, but there's a decision here in love. There's something here that they're needing to leave behind remember i said something is going by the wayside there's a shift in the energy here 
that this person is walking away from something here towards you here with, with the lover's card here okay so i feel like um you got the chariot here you have the seven of cups you have the temperance card and you have the seven of swords okay so i feel with this energy here um again like i said there's something here that they're not sharing they're not telling you about i feel like this person here it's going to take a little bit of time and patience but i feel like this person um may be moving forward right maybe from unsettling emotions about how they feel right letting those emotions go moving forward uh, taking action coming towards you some of you you know can be about uh, reconciling a situation right trying to figure out how things can change some of you i feel like this could be somebody walking away from a third party situation all right or deciding here right they don't want any other options in their life okay but there's something here around change and timing okay so i feel like there's a shift here i'm gonna say for some of you can I, i'm also feeling too some of you just i'm gonna say may even decide to move on um because i'm also picking up here with this ace of wands ace of cups there could be a new love coming in for you as well. But let's see why the Ace of Wands is here. Okay, you got Death card, Scorpio energy. You have Five of Cups. You have the World card. And you have the Fool card. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Three of Wands. So I do feel like this person is coming towards you, right? Um, they're wanting to... Um, rekindle this right um there's the passion there there's potential okay uh with this person i don't know right yet if it's going to lead towards something more committed we'll see in the extended right their intentions we may even pick this up here in the in the future energy but i feel like you got someone they're coming back around okay they want to be with you right no matter what their situation is here now clarifying you have the death and you have the four of cups now i do feel like for some of you there may have been an ending here between you and this person and i do feel like you're going to be hesitant you're not too sure right uh, others i feel here you know this is a transformative energy here and i feel like this is somebody who has been very hesitant about this connection relationship and i don't feel like it's you i feel like it's them it's them getting caught up in their own feelings their own emotions their own ways i feel here and i tell i've been telling people this that if they tell you it's not you it's me agree with them okay they're telling you that and you know some people think that's just a line but it's not it is them most of the time it is them i'm gonna say maybe there's a small percentage maybe it's not that way but um you got the world card here and you have the fool card okay there's a new cycle here there's a new journey here uh with this person there's definitely a change there's something like i said going by the wayside there's something here they're releasing to come towards you all right but I'm going to say, right, if you've been dealing with someone who has had hesitation about taking the next step, right, because after this three of wands is the four of wands, I feel like that hesitation is still there with this person, okay? Let's see why the Ace of Cups is here. Why is the Ace of Cups here, please? Why is the Ace of Cups here, please? Okay, strength card, strong Leo energy. We have the six of cups. Oh, look at that. The ace of cups. The knight of wands. Okay. Yeah, once they leave something here behind, they're coming in pretty quickly here. I don't feel like it's a new love. It can be, it could be a new soulmate coming in here for you. But I feel like this is somebody to... Um, may even want forgiveness if there's something that happened that this person here right did you wrong in some sort of way they may be coming back around wanting uh forgiveness wanting to rekindle things again though you know i'm getting an energy right 
It's a very passionate energy. Okay, not seeing a lot of consistency here with this person. Doesn't mean that they won't be, but that's what I'm seeing right now. Why is the Five of Pentacles? Remember I said the Five of Pentacles. There's something here they're needing to let go, release, something lacking here. Could even be somebody who self-sabotages, but let's see why the Five of Pentacles is here. Okay. Didn't I say there's something that they need to walk away from? And here's the Eight of Cups. Seven of Wands. Six of Coin. Empress. Okay. So, bottom of the deck here, Eight of Wands. Or why? I feel like you're dealing with somebody here with the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Wands. This person's, you know, a bit emotionally unavailable, okay? I don't feel when it comes to their emotions and love here or just within themselves. I feel like this person isn't really secure with themselves, okay? You do have here the Seven of Coin and you have the Empress, okay? In order for this person to invest in this connection and this relationship, I feel here, um, this is somebody I feel here who needs to, to work on letting their guard down really this person comes across very guarded okay and because of that i don't feel like they put in the work here now you have the empress here as well for some of you i feel like there could be a um an ex here okay this person may have a child with an ex, ex here as well um that could, you know, that could contribute to um, how they are, is what I'm getting here. Eight of Wands, Knight of Coin. They're definitely coming towards you, but this is somebody I feel. Um, they're definitely somebody I feel who likes to have a lot of fun, right? There's a lot of passion there between you and this person, but I'm not too sure. where things are headed okay i'm going to clarify the chariot they are coming towards you they're offering something here i just don't know if it's something that you want gemini let's clarify the chariot why is the chariot here please i'm going to say here i feel like too your person has abandonment issues from a from a from a mother okay could be a father uh too but what do you got here tower page of swords ten of coin bottom of the deck queen of swords okay what i feel here gemini this is your energy this is someone i feel you have to be very cautious with because i feel like this is somebody here that you have to really set your boundaries with um, because if you don't set your boundaries with this person their energy comes across um i'm just gonna say they kind of feel all over the board <laughs> i'm going to say Okay, your person doesn't feel like a very grounded person, if I explain it to you. The feelings there, right, they do have love for you, but the energy comes across very stubborn, okay? You have the Tower, the Page of Swords, and you have the Ten of Coin, okay? I feel like you could get some communication from this person. I'm... I'm I feel like this person may even ask you to travel with them. This is what I see in the near future. Travel with them, or if you live at a distance from each other, they may even say, right, they're going to be traveling towards you here, okay? They're going to come in, I feel here, um, Gemini, quite romantic. Some of you, and I'm not going to say it's going to be all of you, but I feel like some of you, there is going to be um, possibly here an apology from this person. I'm going to pull some more cards and I'm just going to ask here, where is this all going? Okay. Um, Ten of Wands. Six of Cups. Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords. Two of Wands. Hangman. Star card. Okay. Okay. I 
want to pull another card here for the hangman. Okay. So there's an opportunity for you and this person to bring healing, to bring some balance here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? So I, I feel like Spirit's telling me, coming from a place where there's been a lot of struggle here, a lot of thinking here, your person, maybe somebody here, right, who gets caught up in their head, they get lost in their thoughts here, right? Uh, I'm just going to say your person does feel too like they could be somebody who gets caught up in drama. I don't know why I'm getting that. But you have the Six of Cups here and the Two of Wands. The, this person here is definitely um, missing you, wanting to be with you. you got the two of wands here. They're definitely making the decision to come your way. They think about the future. I don't know that they're there yet, you know, around anything stable or committed, but we'll see in the extended reading. But there's an opportunity for you and this person here to work on things together, okay? And I feel like there may have been an ending here. Or there may have been something very hurtful. Um, but there could have been some sort of loss in your person's life that has really delayed things coming together between you and them. Okay? Or something. Um, it could even be their health. It could be by some other loss in their life. But there's, I'm going to say here too, someone may have um, an issue with a leg or a broken leg too. Um, but there's something here, you know, I do feel like your person is coming uh, your direction here. The intent it is to come towards you that, like I said, some of you, they may even want to spend alone time with you. Okay. But I feel like a period of time where maybe there was a disconnect or feeling a disconnect is changing. Okay. So energy changes all the time. Uh, never set in stone. So Gemini, I'm going to take this to the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.